and win, lose or draw on Saturday, they mean to enjoy every moment of what they call their cup final. While First Division stars spend their time signing autographs and arranging lucrative business deals, the part-timers of Taunton Town carry on as normal. One in a builder's merchant, two at school taking their A-levels, and two other players working in a glass factory. Playing football pays them only £20 a week, so they're clearly not in it for the money. Yet they train hard and remain loyal to their struggling club, despite a home gate of only 50 or 300 people. And now, 34 years after the club was formed, they've hit the big time. No one's been trying harder than Tony Payne, who's now in his 17th season with the Peacocks. And he recognises that this match is a bit different. A bit special, yeah. 17 years too late, but special indeed. Now, what does success like this mean for Taunton? Well, everything, really. I mean, the, I can't walk through the town without being stopped now by people wanting to know about the coaches, how we're getting there, etc. And it's just bubbled over. Even rugby players are enthusiastic about our success. Not far from the club's ground in Wordsworth Drive, two of the team are studying hard for their exams. But on Saturday, they and many of their classmates will be at Swindon. Well, it's a great feeling, really. I can't really explain it, but... No, well, I don't suppose it happened that many times, so let's go enjoy it while I can. How do all your classmates react to all this? Well, they're all, you know, I think they're all pleased as well. You know, a lot of them are coming up to watch on Saturday, so it'll be an extra incentive. Well, now, here you are in the middle of a class, and yet on Saturday you'll be playing in the FA Cup. How do you feel about that? We, um, on Saturday, we played badly against Corby, and um, Frank was a bit annoyed. He, he reckoned a lot of players had the wrong, wrong attitude towards the game, really. Um, so uh, we just hope we can improve that performance and I don't think Swindon will swamp us at all. Hopefully. <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Two of the team travel from North Devon each Saturday to play for Taunton. Alan Edwards and Paul Adams spend the week in the Dartington Glassworks. They only became first team regulars at the beginning of the season after joining Taunton from other clubs. Now they're local celebrities like the rest of the squad and looking forward to a taste of the FA Cup, although in Alan's case, he's done it all before. What do you think about Saturday, then, reaching the first round proper? Well, I think, personally, I think we've got a very good chance, because four years ago, when I was at Biddyford, we got to the first round proper and we went away to Portsmouth. And on the day, with all the players battling, there wasn't a lot to show between the sides on the day, so if we can put it together, I think we've found a good chance. So you've done it before, which is amazing, because you're only 24. Yes, I'm, well, I'm one of the lucky ones. A lot of uh, players will go through their career without doing it, so I suppose I'm rather fortunate, yeah. Tommy Brace knows all about the Cup. He played for the old Taunton Town Club back in 1930, when they too reached the first round proper. They lost 6-0 to Crystal Palace. He thinks the present team deserved their success. I'll say this, that they're, they're a crowd of trainers. They never give up. You fight, and that's what you want. It up for, makes up for a lot of ability, doesn't it? If you've got the chaps that fight like these, and, and with Tony Payne, what a footballer you've got there. Great kid, should have been in, in professional football. He should have. So you're hoping for a really good result, but do you think you can actually beat them? If they play badly, we're in with a chance. But if, you know, third division team, if they play well, no contest, really. But we'll give it 90 minutes, you know, hard work. And if you do win, then what? Well, a nice easy draw against Bristol City at home, followed by Manchester United away would suit us. So the challenge is down. Well, the club tell us that coach and ground tickets are on sale at the Taunton Ground tonight. Swindon, they were even in the lead for half an hour, but despite the result, everyone at the club enjoyed every moment. It was also, of course, a big day out for the Taunton fans as well, who arrived in optimistic mood at the county ground. One unforeseen hitch came outside the players' entrance. No, that's not the Taunton team coach, as everyone believed. The players travelled, as usual, in their own minibus. Well, perhaps to their surprise, they found the autograph hunters waiting for them, and they added their names to the collection of every team coming to play Swindon, big or small. And it seems you don't have to be a big club to have your own smart sweaters. But on the pitch at last and team photographs for the scrapbooks, 
then savouring the atmosphere, a wave to the fans before getting on with the game. Well, Howard Pritchard playing his first full game for Swindon soon had the Taunton fans and players bewildered. Goalkeeper Norman Stevens saves and veteran Tony Payne gives away the corner. The Pritchard's flag kick goes to Charlie Henry, but his shot is deflected for another corner. But it was Taunton who took the lead when Eddie Ahern crossed for Kevin Haynes to score after only 11 minutes. A marvellous moment for Haynes, still only 16 and studying for his A-levels at school. The Swindon continued to force a series of corners and Brian Hughes latched onto a clearance to shoot too close to Stevens. Taunton went close to adding to their lead when Haynes sets up a chance for a Hearn. The shot's a yard wide and that was probably Taunton's last chance of a major upset. The goalkeeper Stevens made two successive saves, first from Pritchard and then from Roy Greenwood to keep the Southern League club in the lead. It was a long pass from defender Kenny Stroud which set up the equaliser for Pritchard just two minutes before half-time. Pritchard, who was signed from Bristol City in the summer, gets his first goal for the Wiltshire club. And a minute later, had a second goal to celebrate. The Taunton defence is caught flat-footed as Pritchard moves to the near post to head in the free kick. So Swindon go ahead 2-1 just before half-time. Well, they should have added to that lead when Roy Carter broke three, but Andy Rowland scoops the ball over. Pritchard, in fact, could have completed a hat-trick, but goalkeeper Stevens was in good form, saving well. In fact, he didn't put a foot wrong all afternoon. And it was that man again who prevented Carter adding a third goal for Swindon. And at the end of the day, the Taunton fans will be satisfied with a 2-1 scoreline. The players were delighted with the support they'd received throughout the afternoon. Although Tony Payne there had hoped for more after 17 years as a player with Taunton. So today it was back to normal for everyone at the club. They were disappointed with the low gate at Swindon, but they're still £2,500 better off and have no regrets.